Hello everybody, I hope you're well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I am currently backpacking through Albania with my friend Karen and we have just rocked up in a town called Berat. We just got a two hour bus here from Tirana which costs 500 lek and then also a little local bus from the bus terminal to the city centre which costs us 30 lek and right now we've got our suitcases I know I said we're backpacking, but we do have suitcases, sorry about that. We're walking to the hostel, which is called Berat Backpackers. This is actually the first time on the whole trip where I've not been glad of a suitcase. Every other moment I've been on, I've actually been glad of the suitcase. But right now I'm carrying it with my hand. My, how heavy is yours? I'm not sure, I haven't weighed it, but <laughs> mine's, it is what it is. Yeah, mine's like 10 kg, so like it's not hideous, but first time in the trip where I'm like, yep, this is, this is why you need a backpack. But just to give you an update on that, I still, I'm still, so far not regretful of the suitcase this trip for me is fairly short and so the suitcase has just been a trial just to see how it goes and so far I, i've actually mostly been glad of the suitcase we'll see how many more of these rocky cobbled uh, well it's not even cobbled it's just rocky dusty just not even a road that's when it gets a bit tricky we're up backpackers we've done it oh gotta get through the code i opted to carrying the suitcase on top of my head it actually worked pretty well for a short amount of time. How beautiful is this? This is our room. We've decided to go for a private room because, well, look how lovely and spacious it is. Two euros extra each for this private room as opposed to getting a dorm room, which we did have a little peek into the dorm rooms and they were like the same size room, but just like a whole bunch of extra beds. So we feel like it's a pretty good deal. It's like a real Victorian feel. Yeah, it's really old fashioned. Really old fashioned, but very adorable. I'll give you a little hostel tour now. This is what the dorm rooms look like. They're actually really lovely and they have a full length mirror as well. How good. No curtains though, like no curtains on the beds. But they seem to have their own plug socket and light. With a bigger dorm room. It is like the reception. Um, looks like there's like a hangout spot over there. Going down here. More hangout areas. There's loads of common space in this hostel. And then a beautiful terrace where you can sunbathe and oh it's just stunning look at that good morning from berat uh, we've just picked up some of the bureks which were at the free hostel breakfast which is very nice it was all laid out absolutely wonderfully actually another coffee and we're just walking down the hill quite quickly because in five minutes starts the free walking tour um, that we saw at the hostel they depart at 9 a.m and 6 p.m. so we're doing the 9 a.m. one and uh, it departs from the old bridge so we're just going to walk five minutes down the hill with our bootricks in our hand to join the free walking tour because I feel like that is such a good way to discover a city for the first time especially if you don't have all too much time there which we don't we've only got two nights in uh, the hostel so yeah what better way to kick off our time in Barat with a free walking tour yes. So now we're starting the big ascent up to Barat Castle, which is where I believe we're going to be finishing the tour. I feel it in the legs and I'll tell you what, this is unexpected. Great practice for my Pakistan expeditions. I feel like every day I've been climbing so many hills, but it's good. There are little wild turtles along the path up to the castle. <laughs> there he is. Oh, there he goes. Fast turtle. Yeah, he's absolutely speed of lightning. I have a 10,000 meter square. Yeah. I have a 42 churches but only 14 are in a good condition. Okay. We have uh, 147 houses and a lot of uh, restaurants of them. We are now in the castle. Look at the view. So nice. From the castle, you can see every part of the road in your house. Is it the biggest castle in Albania? 
Yes, and the only one who leaves the people inside. And the only one that has people living inside. The houses are in the middle of the quarter, around have a 1,400 meters of the wall around. They did the style like this to protect all the people here. Yeah, cool. Tavja means tower. A hundred and how much? 187 meters. 187 meters. Whoa. If you suffer from vertigo, you might struggle with that. That's so beautiful though. Absolutely stunning view of the city. And look how big it is. Who knew? We are going to a winery this afternoon, so we don't know after a few wines if we're going to be able to climb this hill again to watch the sunset from here. So we'll appreciate it now, but if we feel good later, we might come back up. Okay, so we've come to Kobo Winery, 15 minutes down the road on the bus. I think there's a lot of wineries in the area, but this is the one that we have been told to come to. It looks like Kobo, but you say it like Chobo, Chobo Winery. So one of our white wines is Sheshubar. Sheshubar is the name of grape and is a very milky grape. And the next one, the wine is called the White of Bra. And the grape is Puts. And this grape we have only here in our region in Bra. They are both the harvest 2020, sorry. They are 14% and they are both dry wines. Oh, your okay. thing. Now, in the small glass, Sheshi Bard, in the bigger Puts. I will explain you the red. Uh, now, you try the white Shesh and the Puts. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you the black Shesh, which is also like Albania native grape, but mm. uh, yeah, also grows like in all Albania. And yeah, this red wine has not been aged on the barrel, it has been only in the tank. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have that like okay flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other one is Kashmir. Which Kashmir is a Kazakh, like a blend with mm. three different grapes. Okay, what we have in here, Karen? So we've got the Chobo Shesh Bade. Shesh is a <laughs> Albanian grape. This is a wine from 2020. 20. Yeah. <laughs> Did we just purchase this? Or did they just Did bring it? I asked for another bottle. Oh, okay. So did, did, yeah. How much was it? Uh, 900. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, another water. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's nice. What? No, that was I, very inexpensive. Like, pretty, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Good value, like, yeah. In my opinion. That's about from? eight euros, I think. 7.5. 7.5. 7. 7. 5. 5. 5. Um, Which two. is okay. Stick the nose in. Oh, um, <laughs> get in there. <laughs> I mean, why do you have to hold it with two hands? Um, why am I being judged for the way I'm drinking the wine? It's You're lovely. You're doing it wrong. It's lovely. I would like. So can more? you tell me a little bit about well, it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Used white wasa. No, sir. Well, my... Thank you. Thank you. Now this is uh, Rocky with walnut. The oh, with walnut. Rocky with walnut. Yeah, then Finish the one. <laughs> so you you sip it, right? Oh, I do smell the walnut. Okay. But this yeah. is sorry. And then you add sorry, wine first. Inside. Okay. So Rocky, the unripe. <laughs> yeah, unripe. Yeah. Because I was posting to be careful of the closet. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> We've had a fair few drinks and Raki, red and wine, Raki. white wine, Raki, more white wine and Lots another white cheese. wine and a lot of cheese. We're feeling good, you know, because um, <laughs> this is what you should do in Barat. Okay, shall we teach everyone what's cheers in Albanian? Yeah, what is it? So it's Gazuar. 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 Maybe it's not with the Spanish R. Gaz Gazuar. Oh, isn't it Gazuar? It's Gazuar. It's Gazuar. Gazuar. 
We returned from the winery. It was absolutely glorious. And now we have a dinner reservation. We have just come for, to the bar for a couple of drinks. And we have a dinner reservation at a place called Homemade Lily, which was completely fully booked last night. But we went last night and we said, oh, can we make a reservation for tonight? Because we'd really like to go because this was like highly recommended. Every single blog post, every single everything that we've seen in the town of Barat has recommended this place called Homemade Lily for dinner. And so we are we going up here? I think we are. Okay, it is a little bit confusing, but I think it is. Okay, so we're gonna go up here to our dinner reservation at 8.30 to Homemade Lily. And I did actually even confirm it with them earlier to ask if these two could come with us. <laughs> just two random stragglers. Uh, yeah, just to ask if our stragglers could come a, with us. A bunch of bums, and, you know? were, and they were like, "Yeah, that's fine." And uh, they were like, "Just so you know, like it might it might be a little bit late." And I was like, "No, that's fine. Don't worry about it." Um, are you sure it was this yes. way, Karen? Yes. I don't remember going this way. I do. Okay. Just casually walking down a random ass street, but you know. So it is what it is. Oh my god. Here? These hills in Barat, if I lived here, my ass would look like Nicki Minaj's. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that for a fact. Do you remember this? <laughs> oh, yes, I do remember this. Yes, it's like. Jiggle, jiggle. Come on, Karen. Get the wiggle, wiggle. Full show. Rice, little bit rice, and the lamb meat. Correlo. Maybe for guests this year. Ingredient: ricotta. You know ricotta, the soft cheese, ricotta, egg, tomato, just a liquid of tomato, different herbs, oregano, pepper, a little garlic inside. Oh. oh. Eggplant, aubergine. Oh. Uh, eggplant, with tomato chop, onion chop. A garlic again, just for my people, garlic. Happy the eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> tomato salad, green salad, you know, it's a classic. It's possible to make and mix. It will go to tomato. Okay? Oh. The rapid beef. Now, the name is beef. But this is pork with cheese inside. <laughs> yes. Special place for the bread. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Special place for the bread. Special place for the bread. Eggplant. Eggplant. Oh, yes. Yeah. It smells incredible. It smells. He so likes the smell. Wow. This is the pie. Wow. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the empty plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Maybe anybody don't like food, tell me stop. I never oh, stop. I right? Okay. You like? I love the sound. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's stop. Stop. We share. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We share. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, that's no. enough for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, but. But remember, okay. not shot. Stop. Oh, okay, shot. don't shot not it. Not shot. Do you hear that? Sip. Don't shot it. Oh. Oh. Oh, it goes against all my training. You know? Oh, I know. Shot glass of alcohol. Azula. 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 It was Croatia. It was in Split when we first yeah. arrived. No, strong. 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 Where are you from? Bulgaria? Okay. That must have been hungry. the first time yeah. we on the next day. Yeah. It was like the first yeah. night and we, we all got shot. So we have never cheers and then we were like, that, no, no, that, no, that was a vodka shot. Oh, was it? I'll be honest, we haven't woke up feeling exactly the freshest after the winery and going to homemade Lily 
like dinner there, which was so good. And then we went to a bar called 360, which was somewhere that the hostel recommended. And um, to be fair, I don't think that that was that special, but we were just chilling and hanging out and socializing. I did not drink any more in that bar. I sensibly got water, but yeah, not feeling the freshest this morning. Karen and I were saying like, we think we've done Barat well. Like it's quite a small town. The only thing I would have really liked to have done is the canyon. There's like a big canyon tour. An entire day you leave at like 7 a.m. You get back at like 6 p.m. Something like this. And unfortunately, our time is quite limited in Albania and we have other places that we want to see. So we've just had to say bye bye to that uh, potential dream of going to the canyon. But you know, as I said in the previous vlog, I'm learning to make peace with not doing everything to do in particular cities because it means that when you return to those cities, you actually have something new to do and um, it gives you a reason to come back to that place. Now we have a reason to come back to Barat, but we believe we've pretty much done everything else there is to do in the town for the most part. And we're pretty pleased with how it's gone. It was really lovely meeting the boys yesterday. We met them, well, Karen just met them at the hostel yesterday. I would highly recommend this hostel, actually. Barat Backpackers, it's a beautiful hostel. All the staff and the backpackers who we've encountered have been great. The free breakfast in the morning was great. Yeah, really, really great. This hostel would highly recommend if you are passing through Barat. Maybe don't come here if you have a suitcase, unless you can really carry it on top of your head. <laughs> that was a shock that we had when we first arrived, but it was quite funny. Um, as you can see, I'm now packing up my bag, or at least trying to. Um, I have a big bag of laundry. This was something I planned on doing in Barat. Here it is, because this is still laundry from my Valbona Teth hike. I planned on doing it at the beginning of Barat and then I just didn't. So it's just getting bigger and bigger. So this is something and you can check with me on my next vlog that I need to do as soon as we arrive in. Are you coming in? I'm just trying to have my hands full. Oh, I'm sorry. that's Hello. okay. The I got your coffee. Thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I need to do laundry as soon as we arrive into Hamare. Yes. We've booked. There's um, it's like a, a leaflet, and I think it's a website as well called I Love Bulk. Is that what it is? And yeah. it basically recommends a whole bunch of hostels all throughout the Balkans, and a lot of the ones that we've already stayed in, so Trippin Hostel, the Wanderers Hostel in Skoda, the Old Town Hostel in Kator, which I stayed at, Hikers Den in um, Zablajak, also in Montenegro. I stayed at all of these recommended ones, and for the most part, they've all been really good, and they seem like the places to stay. So we've weren't quite sure where to stay in Hamare and so that's where we're staying but do you know what I'll talk more about that in the next video really hope you guys enjoyed this one subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you to Karen for being the beautiful special guest <laughs> and uh we will see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>